Attorney General Mike Hilgers led a coalition of 11 states in submitting a public comment letter on Monday opposing the Biden administration's proposal to reschedule marijuana from Schedule 1 to Schedule 3 on the Federal Controlled Substances Act. The comment letter was submitted in response to the Department of Justice's notice of proposed rulemaking regarding the proposed change. According to the Attorney General, moving marijuana to Schedule 3 would be a significant step forward a significant step toward, pardon me, fully legalizing marijuana in the federal, at the federal level and represents, in practical effort, a significant tax break for marijuana retailers. Nebraska's 40-page comment letter outlines several reasons why the rescheduling of marijuana is both unlawful and ill-advised. There is a myth that marijuana is relatively safe and that expanding legal access to it would not significantly harm the public health, Hilger said. Our comment letter explains why nothing could be further from the truth. The Attorney General said that the Biden administration administration's effort ignores the science, ignores our decades-old treaty obligations, and ignores the law, all while acting to give marijuana companies a tax break. Nebraska lawmaker, and the Nebraska law makes marijuana illegal in all circumstances. The coalition of attorney generals also includes the following states, Alabama, Arkansas, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Montana, South Carolina, and South Dakota. Uh, you know, not surprising. Mm -hmm. Anybody on the list? I mean, I do want to acknowledge that Mississippi has had a government-sponsored cultivation there for a long time, so they sure are fine with getting the government funding for that, but that's mm -hmm. okay. Um, it, this guy has never read a study. He's never read an accurate medical study focusing on cannabis. Like, maybe he's read something about carcinogens from combusting things and putting them into your lungs. Well, maybe he's read some other things, but he's clearly never read any of the studies that were done on children whose lives have been positively impacted. He's never read any of the study on cancer patients. And he obviously wasn't paying attention when that federal judge said, you cannot sit here and deny the medical benefits of cannabis. Well, I think that uh, I think that with, with with this, one of the reasons why he's he's saying all all of this is is their procedural way in which they're doing it. I understand, but I think that he specifically spoke to the fact that it couldn't be farther from the truth that there's no neck. That, I think know, that's just him add, add, adding not. stuff on. Well, then he that's needs like to it's like you don't you don't just order a hamburger plain generally, unless you're like that. You know who does? I, I know a couple people that Nick Bradley. Plain. I miss him. Yeah, I, whatever. The guy said that there is no medical benefit to cannabis, and he said that it's completely undermining all legality. And yes, we do have, look what Germany's doing. They're undermining treaties that they've had from like 1964 that just kind of uh, address how illicit drugs can be handled. And I, this is how we get changed. We have to say these archaic laws aren't working. And this is not just about tax cuts. This is actually about monopolizing the industry for Big Pharma, for Big Pharma. and for the mm -hmm. government. So I appreciate you, even though you're an idiot and baseless on why you're saying this is happening. Idiot's a strong word, but um, <laughs> baseless. Mm -hmm. I, but I do, I, you actually err on the side that I agree with, which is whatever. I guess I'll take this weird ally that's cutting his nose despite his face but it's helping us so i don't know let's preserve the industry a little longer figure out a way to properly federally legalize cannabis which i don't think is going to happen very quickly but we'll see i can't believe none of you have anything to say yeah <laughs> yeah, no, we do. Yeah, there we go. We know we're on here. I, I got I got plenty to say on this one. Um, this is a simple case of just follow the money. Mm -hmm. um, Justfacts.votesmart.org reveals all of Andy uh, of, of Mr. Hilger's his contributions, Adam. and uh, two of the uh, um, biggest contributions uh, here come from Reynolds American, formerly J.R. Reynolds, and Altria. Big Tobacco is in shocking. <laughs> it's backing <laughs> this dude and, um, and no shit he's against cannabis and everything that comes with it so. i love jason how you had to try to explain what what he meant by what he was saying i always have to explain things for people because people are confused you think i'm confused i think a lot of people are confused and yes you do suffer from confusion sometimes well you suffer from delirium so it's never well, that is, does that have anything to do with your guys' party affiliation? Probably not. I think Rico hit the nail on the head. Follow the money, and it tends to tell you what people— well, 
believe and why they believe it. Well, in, in, right. in, in, in regards with these studies, in, in, in all fairness, um, I'm pretty sure that he's only has read NIDA studies and previously to just recently, all NIDA federally funded studies were only funded to show the harms of cannabis and nothing was ever shown to fund to, to show to show the benefits of cannabis. So there's no, there's a lot of reasons why he hasn't read any positive studies. You know why that is, it's like Jason? Nixon. Because yeah, with Nixon federally knowledge. illicit substance, you can only do preclinical trials mm -hmm. and those aren't recognized as highly. So that's a that's once again an issue. But but that's if you only get information from within the United States. I mean, I I'll, I'll, I would say about him what I've said about my soon to be ex, which is don't ever let a lack of information stop you from forming an opinion. Yo, Yara's letting us know he's on the market. <laughs> yeah, get it. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm lift maxing. I'm spray tanning. I'm about to like tattoo on a six pack. Are you going to be the new it's, orange it's man it. on the news? Uh, uh, no comment. <laughs> but, but again, we, know, we, know, we need, yeah, we, we need oh, to keep you around, so Yara. That was the, so the, good. The, the, the last man that went full orange uh, ended up dropping out of the presidential. <laughs> he didn't go full. He just did the face. <laughs> Just gotta get an but, uh, but again, I, if, if poli you know, look, bottom line is if politicians want to have an opinion on something, they should study the issue. If they don't study the issue right. or they get their information from only one side or they're not willing to be fair and balanced, then they're, I don't think they're entitled to have a perspective. Mm-hmm.